Hello, it's Josh from Server Pro here, and today we'll be going over how to set up a bungee cord network on your VPS. First of all, what is bungee cord? Bungee cord is a proxy server that allows you to connect multiple Minecraft servers together in order to form a network. The easiest way to explain how bungee cord works is going to be via a diagram, which you can see on screen now. So here you can see our bungee cord server, which we'll otherwise call the proxy server. When players connect to this, they will automatically be forwarded onto a server of your choice, which is very often a hub or lobby of sorts, which we will assign during setup. From this server, players will be able to connect to other servers on the network, for example, a faction server or a kit PvP server, without having to log out and log back in with a different IP address. They'll be able to do all of this in-game through commands or via portals. In this video, we'll be using a 6GB VPS and creating a bungee cord network consisting of the proxy and two servers. This means that we'll be creating three services, the proxy itself which will be allocated 1GB of memory, server 1 which will be allocated 2GB of memory and will act as the hub server, and server 2 which will also be allocated 2GB of memory, leaving 1GB of memory for the operating system. It's important that you always leave at least 1GB of memory for the operating system to ensure that your VPS continues to run smoothly. There is also most likely no need to assign any more than 1GB to the bungee cord proxy itself as there won't be any particularly intensive tasks running on this service. With that said, let's create our services and get started. The first thing that you're going to want to do is to head over to the My Service page and navigate to the control panel for your VPS server. If you want to learn how to create a new VPS server, or you don't know what one is, click the eye in the top right corner or click the link in the description and we've got a video showing you how to get started. In the sidebar, click on the Create Service tab. Firstly, we're going to create our bungee cord proxy service. Under Service, make sure that Minecraft Java Edition is selected and that Custom Jar is selected under Type. Then, name it something sensible like Bungie Proxy and check that the server port is set to 25565. The last thing that we need to do is to assign 1GB of memory to it. So under Maximum Java Memory, set the value to 1024M, noting that there are 1024MB in a gigabyte. Therefore, 1024M is 1GB. While our Bungie Proxy service is starting up, Let's set up our other two services, which are Server 1 and Server 2, each of which will be given 2GB of RAM. Navigate to the Create Service tab once more, ensuring that Minecraft Java Edition is selected under Service, and that you select Paper under Type. You are of course free to use Spigot if you wish, but for this example we'll use Paper, as it is largely more efficient and has the same features as Spigot. I'm currently creating Server 1, so I'll name this server Server 1, though you may want to name it something a little more intelligible like Hub or Survival depending on what your server is for. Increment the value of the Server Port, Query Port and Archon Port by 1, in this case to 25566, 25566 and 25576 respectively, as otherwise they're going to conflict with our proxy. Keep these in mind as we'll need them later. The last thing that you need to do is to set the maximum Java memory to 2048M or 2GB. Now we'll just repeat these steps for Server 2, which will have exactly the same settings except that it will be running on server port 25567 with a query port of 25567 and archon port of 25577. I would recommend opening up Notepad and copying down your VPS's IP address, along with the ports that you've assigned to each of your servers, as this will be helpful later. So, we've now created our services, with 1GB of memory assigned to the bungee cord proxy, and 2GB to each of our servers, leaving 1GB of memory for the operating system. Let's start configuring bungee cord. To set up bungee cord, firstly we're going to need to install the bungee cord jar file on our server. 
You can download this from MD5's Jenkins server, which can be accessed at ci.md-5.net slash job slash bungeecord, or more simply, by clicking the link in the description. Right-click on bungeecord.jar under Last Successful Artifacts and click Copy Link Location. Next, head back over to your control panel and select your Bungie proxy service from the service switcher. Open the Files tab and click Upload, then paste the link that you've just copied into the Upload from Web text box and click Upload. Rename the newly uploaded file to server.jar and start the server by using the power buttons in the top right. If you click on the Shell tab, you can see that everything has now started up as expected. You can now stop the server again by using the power buttons on the top right and we can get on to configuration. Back in the files tab you'll see that a whole load of files have been generated. The important one that we're going to be working with in this video is the config.yml file which is where you can configure everything to do with the bungee cord network. Under the servers section notice how there is a default server already set up. We need to slightly adjust these settings so that they match those of our servers. In our case, we've called our servers Server1 and Server2, which isn't very descriptive. You can call your servers whatever you want within this file, so long as there is only one word, so make it something memorable. We'll be calling the first server Hub, and this will correspond to our Server1. So replace Lobby with Hub and replace the address with the IP and port that you copied down earlier. Let's now configure our server 2, which we'll just call survival in this case. Copy the server block, starting at hub and ending at restricted, and paste it right below, then repeat the previous steps. There are a few other settings that we now need to change. Under listeners, make sure that your query port is set to 25565 and assign a message of the day of your choice. Next, under Priorities, make sure that your hub server is listed, ensuring that the name matches what we've configured earlier. In my case, that'll be hub. We then need to set the value of host to equal our VPS's IP, followed by our Bungie Proxy Services port, which in this case is 25565. Lastly, make sure that both force default server and IP forward are set to true. This is absolutely crucial. That's everything that we need to do in this file, so save it. There are a few settings that we now need to change on each of our servers. Navigate to one of your servers in the service switcher. In this case, I'll move to server one and click on files in the sidebar. Open your spigot.yml file and change the bungee cord option to true. Then save the file. Next, open your server.properties file and set the value of the online mode property to false, then save the file. It is worth saying that accounts will still be authenticated against Mojang servers, despite putting your servers into offline mode, as the proxy will complete these steps for you. As we've disabled online mode, it will be possible for players to directly join each server within the network should they know the IP, which might not be what you want. If you want to disable this functionality, please check out the firewall guide linked in the description, which guides you through the process of setting up IP tables rules. Alternatively, there are also links to a number of plugins within this article that achieve a similar effect if you'd prefer this. Now restart this server and repeat these steps for each of your other servers. Once you've configured all of your servers as described, go back over to your Bungie proxy service and restart that too. You should see a message saying listening on your IP address. If you do, you've set everything up correctly. To connect to your network, head over to the main VPS dashboard by clicking the first item in the service switcher. Copy your server's hostname or IP address and open Minecraft. On the main menu, click the multiplayer menu item and then click direct connect and paste in the address that you've just copied and click join server. You should be able to teleport to the other servers on the network using the command slash server. So I'm going to head over to our survival server using slash server survival and then back over to the hub with slash server hub. So, as you can see, it's all working 
and you now have a fully fledged bungee cord network running on your VPS. If you need any help with getting your Minecraft network set up or have any other problems at all, please do not hesitate to get in touch with our support team via support at server.pro or server.pro slash contact. Remember to like and comment if you enjoyed the video and make sure to subscribe so you don't miss the latest updates from Server Pro.